And it has been magnificent. Uh, Tracy did a Facebook Live. I really encourage you um, to check it out. And it, it's focused all around the freedom release method. And this is an opportunity for you to really feel some soothing, uplifting, very aligning energy. Um, also, we had some magnificent classes today, uh, a relationships class, an in the flow with segment intending class, and we have a leveraging class yet to come. Also today, because there's always so much, there was another, um, the third edition of Abraham Now, which it, of course inspires our best life now. A segment we just began on Tuesday um, to really expand out some of what Abraham is sharing um, during these live broadcasts. So, and I wanted to actually share with you a little um a message from today's uh, broadcast and I hope it really resonates with you and it's this chill out take it easy this situation is temporary but the solution is huge the benefit to you is long-lasting yeah you know we've talked a lot about this in a variety of different ways you know, from the direction of, are you more aligned with the problem or the solution? Um, you know, what are you tuned to? Um, feeling good more so or feeling bad? And, um, you know, it makes all the difference um, what you're tuned to, but it all begins with this, being okay with where you're at. Yeah, because you got to be okay with where you're at. You have to um, come into a space of being, well, kind of like, I, this is where I am. This is how I'm feeling. And from there, oh, everything opens up because then you can recalibrate. So, and we we really, you know, expanded out on this uh, over the past several videos. So, and the same holds true as we flow forward. See, the concepts don't change. We just find a deeper resonance and deeper meaning um, with them and different ways that we can benefit from the application of these um, wonderful truths. So, and I wanted to share one other um, quote as well. So, and this is really in regards um, to others. Um, yeah, so it says, instead of asking others to change their behavior, your power is in changing your reaction to their behavior. You have no control over their behavior, but you do have complete control over your reaction to it. And that is an Abraham Hicks quote. And the reason I felt it was beneficial to bring this um, up is because there's a lot of different feelings happening right now. And there's a lot of different things that you may find agreement with and others you may not. And it's okay. Um, we're not called ever in this life experience to agree with everything, to make ourselves go, oh, well, if I'm a really good person, I'll agree with them. No, we came to sift and sort and to really line up with what we, what feels good to us. And in the process of doing that, we're going to see some things that we don't necessarily agree with. So what do we do with those? Well, I encourage you to acknowledge those. That thing that I heard on TV or that thing the media was saying or my neighbor was saying or whatever whatever it was, uh, you know, that doesn't feel good to me, right? That's acknowledging it. And then saying, but that's okay. That's okay because, you know, it's good that they're, they're feeling the way they're feeling. It's good, um, even though I don't agree with the, maybe the actions of the government or, um, Maybe it could be any um, facet of anything, right? That you're not holding uh, agreement with. 
because I can choose to be in alignment with who I really am, regardless of how of the, the opinions they're holding. And this is kind of magical because it doesn't discredit how you feel, right? It gives you the complete ability to honor how you feel. And but also from that perspective of recognizing that if you're feeling negative emotion, you can always generalize it out in a way more so that it's okay. Because remember, we all value our freedom. And isn't it nice that we can live in a world where people hold different opinions and different viewpoints and, um, we don't require people to conform and say, well, I like French toast, so everybody needs to like French toast. And if you don't like French toast, you, you, right? It's just silly, right? It's nice that we have different perspectives, that we hold different opinions and we hold different viewpoints. And, um, you know, for that person um, that doesn't like French toast, you can acknowledge that, right? just to the silly example, right? Or that government official, right? That's holding a different view than you are. Acknowledge that and say, well, they're not holding the opinion or the, they don't feel about it the way that I do, but that's okay because I am who I am in this moment and they're doing the best they can and I'm doing the best that I can. And I know ultimately everything that I've asked is given. And I know that when I see the best in myself, when, I, when I'm easy on myself, and I'm easy on others, right, that things always do work out. They're always working out for me. And, and it's so, so, so true. Um, so I'm going to end off today by just reading the first quote again because it's such a beautiful, freeing uh, place to be. So in your life, wherever you're at, however you're feeling, be easy with yourself. Chill out, right? Chill out. Be good to yourself. Take time to, you know, do the things you love. Take it easy. This situation, and you could refer to it as this global situation now, or you could refer to it as your personal situation. Either way is good. But know this, the solution is huge. It's so huge. And the benefit to you is long lasting. It absolutely, absolutely is. And to be able to receive that, that wonderful solution, it comes from a space of feeling good. It comes from a space of tuning more to the solution, right? To tuning to that solution, to tuning to feeling good, to appreciating. And know this, you are loved, you are valued, you are appreciated, and you're doing just fine. You're doing really well. You are in motion forward. And um, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy this life experience. Uh, it's in its perfect, most beautiful space of becoming.